Hi, I'm Nigel Knott, and I'm a member of the product team responsible for Change Events. Change Events brings the context of recent changes to the services you own directly into PagerDuty. One of the first questions we hear responders ask during instant response is what changed? And feedback we've received from responders and SREs show that recent changes are responsible for 70 to 80% of incidents and outages. Through bringing the context of recent changes to your incident response process, PagerDuty enables you to readily find these recent changes that may have impacted your services, accelerating the triage process, and reducing time of customer impact. We recognize critical change information may be held in your CI/CD, version control, configuration management, or even further additional tools. When response time is critical, searching through change logs, recent deployments, or configuration updates adds minutes to your time critical response effort. Through our extensive integrations, PagerDuty consolidates change information for immediate access when you need it during incident response. Starting with our support for GitHub, Evolvin, and Relay, we're excited to have now further added change events integration support for Ansible, BuildKite, GitLab, Jenkins, Rundeck, and ServiceNow. I'll be Sarah, an engineer on a team that provides machine learning capabilities to a consumer banking app. I was paged for an issue about a high volume of requests timing out, and I'll show you how I can use PagerDuty to triage the issue quickly and find contributing factors from across my infrastructure. Here's the incident I was paged for. Already, I can see the most recent changes in the past 24 hours. Two changes. One is a successful build and the corresponding push from GitHub by one of my teammates a few minutes beforehand. I can dive deeper into any change and even navigate back to the original system if I want to. I can look over the history of my service and see when in context these changes happened with respect to this incident and any other incidents that may have happened. Now it looks like neither of these changes are suspicious. I don't think they caused the issue. But I can see that there are also issues on my dependency, the model load balancer. The model load balancer also has an incident along with a recent change. This rolled back deployment is my likely contributing factor, leading to the incident on my dependency and the incident my service is experiencing as well. Now I can coordinate with the on-call for the load balancer, and we can work together to solve both of our problems effectively. We can search through the history of changes on that service or any PagerDuty service and filter by source, narrow down to the last hour, last month, or even a specific minute from last week. I showed how changes from all sorts of different sources deploy pipelines, code repositories, and workflow engines, create a streamlined experience for all responders working on real-time problems. Responders can narrow down the field of potential factors, find breaking changes, and take action immediately. Unblock your investigation and fix problems faster.